my name is Mita and I'm one of the presenters at Psychic. Now today, I want to try putting out a candle without blowing on it by using some cool chemistry and an invisible gas. You might know that for a flame to keep burning, you need two things. You need some fuel or something to burn and some oxygen. Now, when you light a normal candle, the fuel comes from the wax around it. The fire actually heats up the wax and causes it to produce vapour. And that vapour is what burns. And the oxygen, well, that comes from the air all around us. Today, I want to see if we can put out this candle by removing the oxygen. Now, even though this experiment is about putting out a flame, we are going to be using fire. So it's important that you have an adult around to help you out. With all experiments, it's important that you start with a nice clear workspace. And I'm doing this inside, which means that there's not going to be no surprise gusts of wind that might cause my flame to jump somewhere I don't want it to be. All right, onto the experiment. So, what you will need for this is a candle. I'm using an unscented one with a glass wall around it for safety. A jar of some sort with a lid that screws on. Some sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. And some vinegar. You'll also need a lighter and a teaspoon for measuring out the baking soda. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is put some vinegar into our bottle, about a quarter of a cup or a few tablespoons. Next, we'll light the candle. I'm going to put some of my bicarb soda into my vinegar and there'll be a reaction that happens in this jar. So we'll keep our eyes on that. Are you ready? I'm going to use about a teaspoon, but you can experiment at home with a bit more or a bit less and see what happens. So some of you might have done this experiment before and you might notice that when you mix bicarb and vinegar, you get this kind of foamy, fizzy reaction and you produce quite a lot of bubbles. Inside those bubbles is a gas called carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide actually hangs out in the air all around us, but what we've done is put a whole bunch more inside this jar. Now carbon dioxide is heavier than air, so I should be able to pour the carbon dioxide from this jar over that candle onto the flame. Should we give it a go? Watching carefully, unscrewing the lid. Did you see that? Pretty cool, hey? So carbon dioxide gas, which is heavier than the air, falls down on top of the flame and acts like a bit of a blanket. It prevents any oxygen from the surrounding air from getting to the fire to keep it burning. So we just put out this candle by depriving it of oxygen. How? 